Hi kids! Today we will learn about types of sentences. So let's start. Sentence. We know a sentence is a group of words which makes complete sense. Each sentence begins with a capital letter. Each sentence ends with N mark. It can be a full stop, it can be a question mark, or it can be an exclamation mark. Each sentence has a verb or a noun or both in it. For example, I am having dinner. She is going to market. Let's go to the party. He is a brilliant boy. She is a lovely girl. Have you finished your meal? How sweet she is. Come and listen to me. So, all these are the examples of sentences, some short sentences, and they make complete sense. Sentences can be categorized into different types. A sentence can be either assertive or declarative sentence, an interrogative sentence, an imperative sentence, an exclamatory sentence, or an optative sentence. So we will be learning about these types of sentence each one by one. First of all, let's learn about assertive or declarative sentences. A sentence that makes a simple statement is called declarative or assertive sentence. Since statements are also called assertions, so is why declarative sentences are also called assertive sentences. Statements always end with a period. He is a smart boy. She is a cute girl. I have an exam tomorrow. I am already late. She is not a good singer. They are out for a picnic. They are not going for a picnic today. So, all these are simple statements that end with a period. That is, all these sentences make some statement about something or someone, and so they are called declarative or assertive sentences. They are telling about someone or something. Declarative or assertive sentences can further be divided into two types. They can be affirmative or negative. Affirmative means positive. That is, these sentences give some positive or affirmative information about something or someone. He is a good actor. She is a fine dancer. We have a pet dog. She is writing an essay. I have many board games. All these sentences give some positive information, so they are called affirmative statements. On the other hand, Negative sentences give some negative information about something or someone. Like, He is not a good actor. She is not a fine dancer. We don't have any pet. She is not writing any essay. I don't have any board game. So these are all negative assertions. So friends, we have learned that assertive or declarative sentences are those sentences that make some statements about something or someone and they always end with a period. Let's learn about interrogative sentences. The sentences that ask questions are called interrogative sentences and they always end in a question mark. What are you doing? Where are you going? Where have you been? 
What are you looking at? What is your name? In which school do you study? All these sentences are asking questions. So these are interrogative sentences and they end in a question mark. Every type of sentence can further be divided into two types. They either can be positive or negative. Where are you going? What are you doing? Are positive sentences. Why aren't you going to school today? Why didn't you attend the party? These are all examples of negative interrogative sentences. Now let's learn what are imperative sentences. Sentences that express orders, commands, requests, advices, proposals, or suggestions are called imperative sentences. Leave my room. It's an order. Mind your own business. It's again an order. Keep silence. It's also an order. Work hard. Advice. Go out. It's also an order. Take rest. Advice. These are some examples of advices. Please help me out. Please pass me some salt. Please help me with my homework. Can you please come with me? These are some examples of requests. Let's go for a movie. Let's go for a picnic. Let's dance together. All these are the examples of suggestions. And these kind of sentences that are giving orders, requesting someone, giving advices, or giving suggestions are called imperative sentences. Imperative sentences also end with full stops. Now next let's learn about exclamatory sentences. Exclamatory sentences are also statements, but they express very strong emotions, such as joy, sorrow, regret, surprise, wonder, fear, etc and they always end with an exclamation sign. What a marvelous sight! What a beautiful flower! What a great architectural monument! Wow! She won the match! How cute she is! How dashing he is looking! Yippee! I did it! How nice! How lovely she is! What a nice car! I can't believe it! All these are examples of sentences that are expressing deep emotion. Deep and sudden emotion, I say. So they are called exclamatory sentences and ends with an exclamation sign. So friends, today we learned about different types of sentences. A sentence can be an assertive, or declarative sentence, that is, it can make simple statement and ends with a full stop. A sentence can be interrogative, that is, it's just asking something that it's an interrogative sentence and it ends with a question mark. And if a sentence expresses some order, command, request, advice, proposal, or suggestion, it's called an imperative sentence. It's to end with a full stop. And if the sentence expresses a very strong and sudden emotion, it's called an exclamatory sentence. And it ends with an exclamation mark. So friends, now you can go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, 
English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.